I don't want to waste your time because I know you have an exam coming up. So here's the ultimate plan that you'll need to destroy your next exam. Now you're not going to start off by making a revision timetable. You're going to do this. Get a blank piece of paper and list all the topics that will come up in your test. And for each topic, write down as much information as you can remember without looking at the textbook or specification. Done? All right, so now you can look at your textbook and specification and you can check which bits you got right and where the gaps in your knowledge are. Because remember, you only have a limited amount of time and so knowing which points you're weak at will really allow you to use your revision more usefully. So now you're actually getting serious with your revision. So you now know what your weak points are. You can finally create a revision timetable. But no, we're not going to spend ages on creating a fancy retrospective like timetable. We're just going to create a simple yet strict timetable. So you're going to list all your weak points and you're going to give yourself an appropriate amount of time to revise for each of those topics. But remember, this is a strict timetable. So once the time for each allocated topic is finished, there's no ifs or buts. It's just moving straight on to the next topic. Usually, I would recommend memorizing information using the look, cover, write, check method. But in this case, it might take a bit too long. So you have two options. You can either use a portion of the look, cover, write, check method by reading the information, covering it, and then typing it up on a computer because this would only take you half the amount of time that if you put everything down on a piece of paper or you can read everything from the page, you can cover that page and you can say to yourself a couple of times, again without looking until you know it's time to stick inside your head. Now I know what you're thinking. Abdullah, I know what my weak points are and I've made my timetable, but how on earth am I going to revise all of this in just a short amount of time? Well, lucky for you, this is where Physics Math Tutor comes into rescue. Now, Physics and Math Tutor isn't just a great website for those practice papers that you could do at the end of your revision, but Physics and Math Tutor also has summary notes for all of your chapters for most of your GCC subjects. So you can get any chapter from your GCC sciences and it'll summarize the whole chapter into just two or three pages full of key points. So you don't have to worry about spending so much time figuring out which key points you to memorize. It's all there for you so you can start your revision as soon as possible. Now, now, we're not finished yet because you can't revise for an exam without any practice questions. And I know you're running really short on time, but you don't have to print out class papers as long as you have access to the internet. And for that, I'll leave as many links to exam practice paper websites in the description so you can check them out. And that's basically it for this video. Usually I wouldn't recommend doing last minute revision, but of course there's always some exceptions. So I hope you found this plan really useful. If you haven't already subscribed because I want 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.